All the action goes down in Brisbane, Australia, March 20th. And you can catch the prelims live right here on Fight Network in action. Canada's own Chad Laprise taking on the Brazilian Alan Patrick. We're joined on the line right now by Chad. Chad, how's it going, man? How are you feeling going into this fight in Australia? Yeah, you know, I'm 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 doing great, guys. It's it's, it's always a pleasure to uh, talk to you, and uh, training's been going awesome, and I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to leaving for Australia. Chad, you you seem like a very mentally strong guy. You surround yourself with good people. Has that been part of the key to your success in mixed martial arts? Yeah, you know, I I I, I definitely feel that uh, my uh, my mental game has given me a big edge um, over, over over all my opponents. You know. So it's uh, it's definitely you see it's it's, it's kind of a focus that uh, that people are talking about now, but it's something that uh, that that's always been very strong for me, and it's it's always been my base. Chad, I like to look at all the positives, but I got to run this one thing past you. When you are uh, mentally very strong and you get a setback, you experience a loss, whether it's your first one or any one. What's the process like now to come out of that loss better than you've ever been before? Yeah, exactly. You know, like like like, a, like a right after that fight, I I wanted to fight so bad that like in in a, in a, that same night, you know, I I I really just I just wanted to get back in there, and I think me taking the you know if the it was in August, taking some time off and and I really sitting back and I, and I reflecting on things was the best thing that 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 I could have ever done. You know, I feel like the the mistake I made in that fight was I was thinking so much about Ronaldo's left hand all camp. I I just kept analyzing it. And, 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 Analyzing it, and then come uh, fight night, it was just always in my mind. It was always in my mind, and then bang, he he he, he, he had caught me with it, right? Focused so on it. So now I've yeah. I've gone back to, to, to more of uh, my uh, old school roots, where it's, I'm 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 gonna go do what 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 I'm gonna go do, Sarah Patrick, and and that, that's how it's gonna happen. You know, there's uh, no more worrying about things. It's uh, obviously I'm 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 aware of what he's good at, but I'm gonna go out there and impose my will on him. I'm sure a lot of people uh, may second guess the things that they had done in the past when they deal with a loss how have the last number of months have you done anything different obviously you say that you want to go back and do the things that you were doing when you were successful uh but is there anything that you've done differently since that time um yeah i've i've changed up my training a bit and i've i've, I've actually been training with with uh, my guys from uh, london ontario too okay. i have bought up my uh, striking coach leo laos uh, three times during during this camp to come up and, and uh, sharpen my skills up you know what i mean he's just in his, he's just a, he's, a, he's a real comforting guy for me to, to, to have around, and uh, he, he, he really gets my uh, head right uh, for uh, going into the fight. And also, my uh, my uh, cornerman, you know, one of the best southpaws in the world, just, uh, I'm uh, bringing out Jesse Bronson from my awesome. line, Ontario. He's, he's uh, coming down with me to Australia. You know, he's a perfect training partner, and he's a perfect guy to uh, have in the corner to, 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 uh, to, to get the job done. Chad, uh... Uh, sometimes when you're studying martial arts and you're someone as sort of driven to learn as you are, you go through little uh, periods where tiny things improve and maybe you don't notice it. You just put in the work. And then other times you have these giant breakthrough eureka moments where you've learned something new or you see the sport different. What's the last one of those or a couple of those that you've had that have changed the way you look at fighting? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's been in this camp. I've really, 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 really learned my, my, my range and distance. With with uh, footwork, whereas before I I, I I always just I would I, I always be uh, re, re, relied on my speed, and now I've uh, really learned that 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 range and distance and uh, timing, you know, and it it, it it definitely opened up a lot of of uh, of opportunity for me. To, you mean you uh, my my speed with uh, my strikes? You mean you didn't have have pinpoint uh, footwork and timing and distance before, and you do now? That's terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah, no, it, it was. It was before, but I've really studied it and I've really, really focused and worked on it now. Whereas before, it was something that I kind of just always did, and 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 and, and now I've uh, I've really made a made a made a conscious effort in doing it through through drilling, and and actually thinking about where I am of every minute, you know. And it's definitely opened up a a, a ton a, a ton of new opportunities for me. Chad, do you embrace change? Do you? Yeah, there are many athletes that uh, have a certain regimen. It's like, okay, this is what got me to the top. I'm going to continue to do these things. I'm not going to deviate. Are you one of those uh, athletes, or are you more than happy to, to take change and embrace change? Say, okay, I've never gone down this route before. Let's try it and see if we're successful. Yeah, you know, I, 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 think, I think change is definitely a good thing for, for, for a growth. But, but then once I get a little closer to, to, or to a fight like in our training camps, I, I, I don't veer too much from, uh, from what I've been doing from before 
just 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 just, just swung sharp on a fight night. But uh, yeah, like, like I think I think change is good, and and also doing the things who what, what I got these two at this far is, is definitely important as well. Yeah, when you just even just what we've been speaking about the last few minutes, change in the way that you're approaching footwork and distance and timing, but similar things in the comfort of Leo Luke's, the comfort of Jesse yeah. Ronson, the combination of both those things. Yeah, exactly right. So it's it's it, it's definitely growing as 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 a mixed martial artist, and then obviously someone so, so, so someone like Leo who's just pinpoint on basics, basics, basics. You know, we throw jabs after jabs, crosses. You know, just pinpoint basics to, to uh, make everything perfect, and then adding on some some of the new things that that that, that, that I've been working with as, as well. It, it's, it's a perfect combination for me. Chad, tell us what is the best version of you when you envision a perfect performance. The cage door closes. What does that look like for for the viewers? You know, it's it's it, it's me being sharp, sharp, sharp with with that footwork. You know, and people have have no idea how how a good my uh, wrestling is. You know, I I I. I I, I haven't shown it very, very, very much in my UFC career, but you know I'm I'm a full, complete mixed, mixed martial artist, and uh, I you know I'm sure I'm sure one of these days that uh, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that a whole arsenal go as well. But you know, just smooth, clean technique, in in and out, picking people apart. You know, I'm uh, I'm not the type of guy that's gonna stand there and uh, just get in a war with you. You know, I'm gonna beat you with with with, with skill and uh, technique. Are you training with our friend uh, Jonathan Chamberg? I know that was something you were exploring a little bit. Are you? What are you doing with your strength and conditioning and your physicality? Always, you know, John. John is is, is one of. He's, 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 he's not just a coach to me. He's a, he's like a brother. You know, ah, I'm yeah, there all awesome. all year round. You know, there's 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 guys who just do strength and conditioning when they're in training camp, which is the stupidest thing that uh, you could possibly do. You know, I I do even more strength and conditioning when 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 I'm not in camp to get my body ready. For, for a fight camp, so I'm at John's. You know, he his gym is two minutes from my condo, and I and I see him about three about three times a week all year round. And uh, now I know you, I know him, and I've, we've worked with him and uh, and studied him a little bit, and he is brilliant. And and you need the brilliant people to work with to lead you in these areas. But uh, so just trusting that man and, and the right guy on your team is the way to do it. But when you think outside and you're thinking your own thoughts on conditioning, what's the right balance of mobility and movement and yoga and flexibility and all this kind of opening up your freedom of movement ideas with powerlifting and Olympic lifting? What's the right mix? What do you think the, the right mix for Chad Laprie's? Yeah, it's like for, for, for me, for, for my body type uh, specifically, you know, I'm not the fastest guy. I'm 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 not I'm not the strongest, and and I and I'm not the most ex- explosive. But I'm pretty good at uh, everything. You know, so working with John, he 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 knows my body to to a T. So we 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 we, we do some Olympic lifting for for for, for, for explosiveness. Some of the um, obviously stretching with, with with me. I I have I have I have tight hamstrings and uh, hips. Like obviously most athletes do, mm-hmm. and you know he 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 gives me just a little bit of each, and then that and that gets my body feeling 100. percent So then I'm 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 able to train 100. percent You know, like for me, strength conditioning is just an additive for for mixed martial arts training. Like like my my training comes first, and and my strength and conditioning is 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 my asset to uh to keep my body healthy so that I'm 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 able to train harder. Chad, you talk about uh, your underrated uh, wrestling abilities. Do you feel that it's important to have your opponents think of you as one specific type of fighter and have those tools kind of hidden in your back pocket when you need to use them? If people are scouting you, it's like, oh, this is the stand-up kickboxer. I'm going to easily formulate a game plan where you have all these other tricks that you can pull out in the in the cage. Is that important for you? Yeah, well, you know, it's just something that, like, I, I know everybody just they just think of me as a striker, but if you talk to guys who who who, who have trained with me, like every, every, everybody knows that I have a solid ground game and I have really 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 underrated wrestling. So you know it's uh, it's, it's 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 definitely there, and uh, I'm just waiting for the right time to use it. And. Uh... Uh, we're enjoying chatting with you, Chad. You're a very smart guy. Uh, people haven't got a chance to get to know you, and, and uh, it's something you know that's going to change each fight that you have. But uh, I, I, your motivation, you're super driven. That's something anybody who, who watches you knows about you. And uh, a lot of people are driven, but there's a lot of different reasons you can be driven. Driven to be successful so you can make money, or driven because of a love or a passion, or just naturally intrinsically motivated. Why do you work this hard? You know, it, it's definitely something that, that that God has put into me. You know, obviously, people who know me know they know that I'm a Christian, and, and I truly believe with 100% of, 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 
of my heart that God put me on this world to to to, to be a fighter. You know, I will do ev- everything that I possibly can to 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 be the best fighter in the, in the world because I feel like that that uh, this is my calling. Uh, the man that's going to be standing across the cage from you, uh, Alan Patrick. Uh, are you the type of fighter that goes and studies uh, your opponent, or is that something left to the to the coaches? And on fight night, you just go and execute. No, you know it was something like like like, like I talked about with Mr. Ronaldo. I used to study for hours and hours and hours, and I constantly watching my opponent. You know, and I felt like it was just too much for me. So when uh, when uh, I got the like I didn't pick. Obviously, the UFC told me I was fighting Alan Patrick. I, I uh, watched a few of his fights. Obviously, I uh, kind of know kind of what he's going to do. You know, he's an awkward southpaw. He has. He has pretty good jujitsu. He's just a really wild and, 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 and explosive guy. And then I uh, left the rest up to my coaches. And then we, we're going to go from there. The uh, In theory, you know, if you watch too, and study too much, you'll give too much power to the things they do really well. It sounds like that's what yeah. you did with Trinaldo, is in giving the respect to that weapon, which drove you to work harder and harder and harder, you started to give too much respect to his, the weapon. And he's just a man. You know, it's a really interesting thing. Eh? Learning these little bits of how to uh, get your mind perfect to fight. It's fascinating. Yeah, you know, and it's something that that that, that interests me a lot. You know, the, the the psychology of of a sports too. You know, I I I I, I watch your show a lot, Robin, and uh, your podcast with with David Mullins. I think awesome. And yeah, I, I've learned some pretty good stuff off off off, off you guys, and I I, I really enjoy the uh, program. Thank you, man. I'll put you in touch with David if you want to chat with him. All the action goes down March 20th, UFC Fight Night. The main event, Frank Mir taking on Mark Hunt. You can catch the prelims right here live on Fight Network as Canada's own Chad LaPreeze takes on the Brazilian Alain Patrick. Uh, Chad, thanks so much for the time and best of luck down under. Thanks, guys. Always a pleasure talking to you guys. Yeah, you too, brother.